Hi everyone, myself Himagiri and I am currently pursuing my MBBS in Philippines. Basically, this video is regarding USML. What does USML actually mean? Without wasting time. So, let's get into the video. USML. USML basically means United States Medical License for Examination. It is an examination to grant a permanent license in states of America to be a doctor. First of all, I'm saying USML is a easy. As so many YouTubers said that it is very tough, but the ratio of getting seat is two is to one. If two persons appear for USML, one is going to get a seat. So in my perspective, USML is easy because if you feel it is easy, you can crack it. But if you feel it was difficult, you may unable to crack. So I am saying as USML is easy, so you can trust me when you can attempt USML step one. So if a person wants to settle or dreaming to be settled in USA, then want to appear for USML. I think so, you know, regarding USML. So let's start with the process. How to become a doctor in US by writing USML exam. Basically, USML is a three step exam. The first step is step one, step two and step three. Coming to step one. Step 1 is in the form of a MCQ pattern and step 2 is also in the form of MCQ pattern but step 2 is a somewhat elaborate compared to step 1 and coming to step 3. Step 3 is called as a patient live examination like exam. So if you are interested to be a doctor in USMLE one must crack these three steps. Basically one must give step 1 at the age or at studying in the year of MD third year or MBBS third year. He is eligible to apply for USML if he was studying in a ECFMG recognized colleges. So for them who were studying in ECFMG recognized colleges, they can give USML step 1 in MD third year. And USML step 1 cost up to 75,000 and the international charges may be it's gonna around 1,100 USD. So it seems nearly like a 90,000. INR. So if you pay 90,000 INR, you can write step 1 without any problem. After writing step 1, one must go for step 2. Step 2 is also a MCQ pattern, but it is a clinical based orientation. One must give step 2 after finishing your clerkship or internship because after giving clerk or intern, you are going to get some clinical knowledge, right? So for the for for that basis of clinical examination, you should have some relevant clinical knowledge. You are IMG. For you, IMG means International Medical Graduate. If you are IMG, you can give at MD fourth year. Uh, if you are pursuing your MBBS in India, you can give your step two after completing your internship in India. And coming to after completing your step two, one must give OET. OET is called as Occupational English Test. It is an English proficiency test. No need to study hard for your OET. I think so. One month is enough to crack OET examination. And after giving OIT examination, if you are ready with ECFMG certificate and it cost up to nearly 50,000 for applying ECFMG, means all third is going to be applied now. So it cost up to ECFMG as a 50,000 INR, keep a 50,000 INR as separate. And coming to after applying ECFMG certificate, one must apply for NRMP match. What does NRMP match actually mean? NRMP match actually mean a if a student or a job holder or a job doctor, job doing doctor, is interested to apply for a particular college or a particular university for his or her residency. So he should apply it through NM NRMP match. Basically, after finishing your NRMP match, you should apply for ERAS certification. That is called as ERAS application, which is going to avail available in the portal. You can check it. After ERAS application, you should go for I mean they will call for your interview. Basically, interview after finishing your interview. They will call for, I mean, they will take a list called as ROL, which is called as a rank order list. In rank order list, you can check your, it's like a merit list, right? So after ROL, there is a match date, which is called as NRMP result date. So if you are perfect and your score was good, you, you will get a good NRMP result. Therefore, you are getting ROL, which is called as a rank order list. So after getting ROL or NRMP result, you can apply for visa. Generally visas are two type, 
first one is h1b visa which is going to be given for a job holder means if a person cracked step 3 also he can apply for h1b visa or if a person is applying for ecfmg or he is a ecfmg holder but he is not a job holder like he had not applied for step 3 before but he was only having a ecfmg certificate which was given after step 2 so for him he is a for him he is getting a visa right that visa is called as j1 visa so for a person who was pursuing his or her mbbs onwards must be prepared for step 1 step 2 and step 3 basically step 3 is given while doing your residency or before residency it's up to you because step 3 is a clinical based examination right for doing step 3 you should have some clinical skills i prefer to give while doing residency is a good option because for giving step 3 you should fly off to america you can write step 1 and step 2 in your domestic country whereas coming to step 3 you should give in america so one must fly to america and he must have an amount of 10 lakh because without having 10 lakh to fly to usa even though you crack in step 2 because step 3 cost like that because you are going to america and you want rooms etc etc na so like traveling purposes whatever it may be living expenses it is for one month or two months you must carry a amount of 10 lakh because for if you carry 10 lakh if you have any financial health issues or if you have any financial problems also that money will aid you so i suggest to carry a 10 lakh amount even though you assembly pay amount but minimum amount you should carry is 10 lakh and coming to stipend how much stipend does usm actually pay so many youtubers said that they are going to pay an amount of 3000 usd and some of them said that they are going to pay as 5000 usd don't think whatever the amount you are getting it is like a just a pre amount which you are getting before you are post graduation basically the coming to duration of post graduation duration of post graduation is 3 to 8 years based on your internal medicine or whatever it may be you are taking your residency like surgery surgery uh, longest of 2 8 years so there are so many like i mean like family medicine etc etc cardio op- optometry i think so you are much more familiar with that one so if you are ready you can apply for usml but the complete cost of usml is going to be nearly a 40 lakh because i will support royalty with education because without royalty you can't study right there may be several instances while studying for studying how much money you can keep also for pg if you invest 1 rupee also it is going to be reflected 10 rupees so don't think before keeping money for pg but you should study because as you are paying 40 lakh right so you must have some basic minimum knowledge to study so you should study and you should invest money both should be done a parallel wise if you done both are in parallel wise therefore you are going to get success one day i am from philippines so i am making this video in english because so many are unable to understand whether you may be a filipino or a indian graduate or an russian graduate whatever it may be it doesn't matter because english is common so i think so i am clear with my procedure what i said once again i am saying one must apply for step 1 step 2 after step 2 you must apply for oet exam which is called as occupational english test after giving oet he must apply for ec fmg certificate which is given for an imgs or a indian graduate who was studying in india but he must have a ec fmg recognition at present in india there is no college having ec fmg certificate i think so they may apply in future because after 2024 onwards in india there is no permission for writing a usmle so one must come to philippines or other countries which are given an american education for certain like that so after giving you a ec i mean after getting your ec fmg certificate one must apply for nrmp match which is called as matching so after applying for matching one must get an eras set application here here as application is nothing because you are applying so many applications huh? you will feel somewhat easy for eras application also no need to worry after finishing your eras application you are going to call for interview after finishing your interview there will be an roa which is called as rank order list after getting your rank order list you will also get a match date right which is called as an nrmp result date after getting nrmp result date you can fly to usa by having two visas one is called an h1b visa and second one is j1 visa basically j1 visa is given for any ec fmg graduate or h1b visa is given for a 
paid doctor or a doctor in india who want to study in abroad or a student who was cracked is step 3 also you can apply for h1b visa and no need of any worries what i have said this information was very clear i think so basically this video became lengthy because it is in a pathway of a nearly 10 steps and the coming to duration of complete exam uh, exam basically up to seven i'll talk one up to seven hours step to up to nine hours i think so i don't know actually the exam timing but there are much more lengthy exams i agree with that one how much time do you need for preparation i suggest you should need a minimum of 3 years for preparation because basically step 1 will take up to 8 to 9 months which was given by kaplan academy and coming to step 2 step 2 seems like it will be 6 months because it's not easy to crack a step 1 step 2 in a span of 2 or 3 months right so you should need a 6 months after finishing your step 2 one must apply for oet which is called occupation minister for that obviously need a time of i think so one month is hardly enough for cracking a oet exam and coming to nrmp match it seems it simple because uh, you simply are just wasting your time with nrmp match like that and one must be ready with your certificates like if you are done with uh, research like public research publications or citations which you are done in your uh, academic schooling or academic university which you are studying your mbbs or md so you should get your full citations publications and everything you must submit for nrmp match which is going to be proceed for interview right so before getting into interview you should uh, give a full bio data means it's a full book of your full future and full present it must be present in that case file so with that case file you should apply for that interview because in interview they may ask the question like what is your specialty then what you going to reply yeah you should reply as uh, so i am an youtuber or i am a so and so uh, publisher of so uh, these citations um or i i i did so many citations or i did so many publications like that so if you have that those like that they are going to be a plus point or an advantage for your interview compared to other students because there are so many in the exam or competition right then why should they select only you am i right or wrong so basically if they want to select you you must be somewhat special so these are the qualities or qualifications one must have before applying for usmle and one must think before applying for usmle so i gave this information in a complete plan or pathway i think so no youtuber said regarding this all in a simple pathway i think so i am clear with my information and i am giving some countries also you can check it which countries are available for applying for nrmp match because most of the most of the people are from indians or philippines or Russia, they don't know what does actually how many cities are there in the USA. Also, for them, I am giving a separate photo in back of my video, so you can watch it. I think so. You like this information, and thanks for watching my video. I think so. I am very very clear with my information, and one second I am saying, NRMP match is very very easy, and USML is also very very easy. Don't feel this is difficult. but the pathway or duration is lengthy so you may feel difficult because you may lack concentration while preparing for usmle so for you i said very clear usmle is very very easy exam so trust me you can write your exam very well that's all thank you for watching my video if you like this information as very very useful you can share it to your friends family members etc who are preparing for usmle or who want to settle in usa that's all thank you If I am very very fast in my English, don't mind because I am giving my subtitles in the in my video. You can watch it over here. Thank you.